Well, welcome back everyone to the Rusty Traveler. Today's adventures take us to deepest, darkest Africa, to Tangeri National Park. And we are gonna go on a walking safari. That's right, no truck, just walking, and see what we come across. So when you're out in the open doing an activity like this, you feel a little bit uh, exposed. So today we have this nice man with us who's a park ranger with a very large caliber rifle that he assures us he's never had to shoot. And uh, it's a good thing because there's big things in this park. <laughs> to be standing on the ground and seeing these animals with no cages, no bars, no truck in between you and them is a completely different experience, my friend. So if you do go on safari, make sure that you have a walking safari as part of your trip. It's not expensive. And honestly, for me, it was the highlight. So in the area where we are in Tangeri National Park, there are a lot of elephants. Animals here are not tame. They roam this magnificent park by the seasons. And we didn't see a ton of elephants today, but we saw a lot of giraffe and many other things that we'll show. Do you have kids? No. No? Like two girls? <laughs> boys or girls? Uh, two boys and one girl. Who's the youngest? Uh, the youngest girl. Yeah. How old is he? Very good. Where is your family live? Sorry? Mm -hmm. Where they live? Uh, How far is that? Uh, just from here to Babati, I think it's just a point. So after getting to know our ranger friend a little bit better, let's see what else we saw on the amazing walk. When you think of coming to Africa, everybody thinks about elephants and giraffes, and lions and cheetahs. But when I am in Africa, I find myself filming amazing birds like this fish eagle and the uh, ground hornbills. The colors of these birds and the size of them really makes for some great pictures. Even these Egyptian geese caught my eye with their colors and the marabou stork, which is actually uh, a type of a vulture and a scavenger. I was really surprised to see ostriches. I thought the guys were putting me on when they said, look, there's an ostrich, because I thought they were in Australia. No, those are emus in Australia. Ostriches are found in Africa. And the flamingos, oh my goodness, so beautiful. I need a poop. Thanks everyone for watching this video. Please continue to support the Rusty Traveler by subscribing and turning on your notifications so that you find out when our next weekly video is coming out. Now let's continue on our walking safari. Much, much more to come. Really lucky to come across a litter of Lion cub. The mums weren't far off, but we had to stay back. But thank goodness for zoom in lenses. Did we get the spot? And then from there, we went into baboon world. Baboons do not travel in small groups, they travel in troops, sometimes of hundreds and hundreds of several troops together. So to say that it was chaos would be an understatement, but very interesting. Primates all exhibit the same behavior, the grooming of each other, and it's uh, part of how they recognize the family unit, part of how they interact with each other, and you'll find this with most, if not all, primates. A 
believe it or not, this is the most dangerous animal in Africa. More deaths of people have been reported by being attacked by hippo than any other animal. They, uh, they might look cute, but they, uh, they have no sense of humor. And one of the other big boys of the plains here is the Cape Buffalo, which is one of the uh, big five. They are massive. These are my favorite animals in Africa. The way they will just stare you down. And one bull, Cape Buffalo, can handle pride of lions quite easily. And they do protect their young. So the lions are very careful when they go after the Cape Buffalo. They don't want to have anything to do with the main bulls of the herd. You know what they say, if you mess with the bull, you'll get the horn. It could never be truer than on the plains of Africa. So now here's a few smaller species we came across on our walk. See how many you can recognize. call it poachers. Mm -hmm. They like that shell to use for things? Yeah, somehow there are other people use the shells just for the like the ornaments. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ah yes, the cats, the cheetahs, the leopards, the lions, the cats of Africa. You will see these more if you want to go in September than you will when we went at Christmas because that is when the migration is taking part. And when the uh, herds move, the predators follow and you will see a tremendous amount of predators in the months of October and September. That's it for today from the Rusty Traveler. Thank you so much for watching our video and supporting our channel. Please subscribe, turn on notifications to stay tuned for our next African Safari. And as usual, we will see you on the road.